All right, well, this is going to be a fun job. This house is uh, got a train gas furnace in it. And it's got a bad heat exchanger in it. Just in the neck of time of warranty. 80% furnace, so it's kind of odd. They don't fail a lot, but we got to change this one out, so let's get her done. So we got a pretty nice access and area to work in. Uh, pretty good space between the two furnaces. Looks like they're at least the same models. One might be a little bigger than the other, but uh, that's the one in question right there on the right. So let's get set up and get that thing apart and get it fixed.
this thing outside and see if we can find any cracks in it. It was definitely putting out uh, a lot of carbon monoxide in the house. Our meters went crazy, mine and his. So, hopefully we find the explanation. All right, we got it out, obviously. And here's the new one. So, thanks to the quick response of the train supplier, and of course the factory, this had to come from the factory, it took us two days to get it. And we did not have to pay any expedited shipping or anything that brought it right to us so what i'm going to do real quick is just see if i can find any evidence of a crack or leaks or anything on it we may have to may have to actually actually take it apart uh, each of these cells off here in order to to find what's what's leaking but I sure would like to find it because it was a very distinctive smell in the house and uh, we can see if we can get to the bottom of it to show the homeowner all right, we got it up here. Got the new gaskets with it. And I think, uh, I think it'll go back together pretty easy. Always like to take a look at the coil. And just, you know, Make sure it's not too bad. So I'll pull this video up and look close at it. We may actually spray that with a foaming no rinse deal and just do a real quick brush up on it. Let's see, I don't think I didn't have to take this one off. Probably just made it a little easier get it out and the trick is when you're horizontal to get the four you know uh, cells to stick right in there but you can see how they've got them slotted there with a big Y opening so hopefully it goes well but that's the tricky part is just to get it in place exactly right um, when you're laying down like this but anyway uh, I looked at the video and it took about 12 minutes to get it apart and get it out so probably a little slower going back in but let's get started.
but it sometimes you need a nut driver because of the thick wall of that chuck and some of these things oh geez so it's one thing that happens with this reversible nut driver is if you tap on it or hammer on it at all like the terrible habit some of us can get into doing boy that thing's bad so we got a couple of hundreds here today well, this ought to be good luck to clean it with a hundred And get Mr. Ben Franklin's help. Does anybody know what president, what number he was? What number president was Ben Franklin? Actually, he was never president, but him being on a, a bill you would expect him to have been, but he wasn't. not going to pretend to be up enough on my history to tell you why he wasn't or why everybody thinks he wasn't. And I have no idea why I do both of these things, why I clean these flame sensors this way. Um, for many years, all I ever did was scrape them with my knife. Um, I don't use sandpaper. Can get silicone on it. I guess steel wool is a good old trick that I've heard a million times. But an old man that I used to respect an awful lot, he's passed now. used to clean them with a dollar bill and nothing else. And I, I told him, I said, uh, you know, dollar bill's been through everybody's hands and pockets and blah, blah. Got to be one of the nastiest things you could find laying around is a dollar bill. He said, don't ask questions, boy, just do it. I said, okay. So, I don't know what made me try that later and what made me get in the habit of it, but I eventually did. Hello, this is Ted Cook. Yes, ma'am.
Victor, this is Andrea from Credit Line Financing and Recorded Line. How are you doing? What can I do for you? All right. Anyway, uh, the only reason for the call is just to inform you that your business is pre-qualified for our financing program without interest rate, no collateral be that because we only operating on a very small fixed fee. And the good thing here is that before any right, fight, well, I'm sorry, we, we like don't we don't we don't need any financing. We don't need any money. We'll loan you some if you want some. You wanna borrow some? <laughs> I tell you what, you know, everybody moves and keeps their cell phone numbers, no matter where they're from. California, Florida, New York, Nebraska, they all move to wherever they go with jobs and houses. And everybody keeps their cell phone these days. So, you know, there's just no way to dodge the telemarketers. You have to answer every call. And uh, sometimes when I got a half a minute to spare, I just play with them for a minute, but anyway, figure out what's going on here. It's definitely coming from this. And yes, I'm going to leave that. I saw the flames acting a fool when the blower came on. I guess that's just from out here. But as I was saying, yes, I'm going to leave that right there. tape a door switch it stays there now if it didn't have that switch up there it's possible that I would be more likely to leave the door switch intact While I think they're handy to have for servicing, I don't think it's a safety factor, although that's what technical paper and data will call it, the safety switch or whatever. I think it's just very handy when you're repairing or troubleshooting or replacing something on a furnace. Handy, so I like them, don't get me wrong, but I will take them shut. So anyway, I think we're done here.
those are, but I'm going to tape them up and show you these holes. There's four of them. One right there. One right there. And there. And there. And I don't know what they're there for. Well, if somebody started to put a them or filter or something when they you know I don't know those I've never seen these holes drilled in the cabinet but they are drilled in there so let's get out of here been here long enough let's go downstairs and get cleaned up and move on to the next one thanks for watching